this is his new favorite toy that he likes to play with. Is this football. He likes to get in and sit in it. And sometimes he likes to put all of his toys in there. But today he just wants to sit in it. This football was actually my brother's and my dad's, I think, maybe, when he was little. Definitely my brother's. So it's old, but my mom gave it to us because obviously she doesn't need it anymore. Yeah, and it's supposed to hold Grace toys, but we never put any toys in there. If I ever need to put toys away, I usually just put it on these shelves, these bottom two shelves of this bookcase. Do you want out? Oh, you want your... Here you go. It's actually really chilly and a really rainy day. Like it is seriously feeling like fall right now. Um, and I'm actually wearing jeans. I don't know if you can see. I can, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but I am wearing jeans today because it is that cold out. It's like only a high of 60 something. So it's really cool and rainy. Um, we went to a play date this morning and it was really fun. Great, had a great time. And now we're just hanging out playing in our football. <laughs> But it's definitely feeling like fall outside. Although if you're from Ohio, you know that Ohio not only has four seasons, we actually have 12 seasons. I'll put in a picture here that always is circulated around this time. And it goes through all the seasons of Ohio. Right now we're in our false fall where it makes it think that it's fall. The weather makes it think that it's fall by getting cool out and everything. And then in about a week or so here, it's going to get really hot. And then it'll be summer again. And then it'll be true fall. But really, we don't really get much of a fall. It just kind of goes right into winter. He's just loving his little football. He likes the light shining in there. That's cute. I love watching him just play with his toys. He's so like methodical playing with these toys and putting the animals in the holes. And he got this truck tractor thing for his birthday and he loves it. We're always losing one of the characters, but we end up finding them eventually. Is that your Baba sheep? He doesn't go in the train or tractor. Ba ba. Ba ba black sheep, heavy when you wool. Ba. <laughs> ba ba black sheep, heavy when you wool. So yesterday, my brother and his girlfriend came over to babysit Grayson for us because Anthony and I actually had an appointment to see a financial advisor. And we kind of just wanted to start, find a financial advisor, plan or whatever, and just get somebody to just help us grow our money, whether that be in uh, investment accounts or just saving more than what we're doing. Um, we really want somebody to take a look at our finances, tell us what we're doing wrong, what we need to do in order to retire, you know, with a good retirement fund and be able to support ourselves, especially since we're on uh, one income right now. Anthony is the only one making money. I stay at home with Grayson. And so I think that just makes us a little nervous, just um, only having that one income and all of the aspirations we want to achieve. Like we want to go on vacation, um, especially like for our five year anniversary, we'd love to go somewhere. We want to buy a new car once I have more kids, like we're going to need a minivan. We want to eventually move, like this house just isn't going to sustain like four or five kids. So like we have all of these 
aspiring dreams, but we're like, can we reach that? We don't know. And so we would really like to meet with a financial advisor, financial planner to help us figure those things out. It's kind of hard because we're doing this so young and we've asked a lot of our friends about financial advisor, financial planner, and a lot of them are just like, what are you talking about? Like, why are you even taking the time to do that? So it seems like it's kind of more of a thing that like older people do, but I see the benefit of going when you're young and starting when you're young because you can start making money younger and faster and you can also just like start those good habits early instead of having to like change your whole life around when you're like in your 30s or 40s. So it was good information. It's a little expensive to use a financial advisor. Obviously they don't come cheap. So Anthony and I just kind of have to talk over it and see if that's something we want to move forward with um, and what we want to do. But leave your comment down below. Do you have a financial advisor, a financial planner? When did you start using them? Have they benefited you? Let me know. Grayson, you want up? He's wanting to chase Felix. I always have to give him a little boost. Is that Felix? Yeah. Yeah, be careful, be gentle. Been trying to teach Grayson to be gentle. He's been trying. Be gentle. Gentle. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Great, be gentle. Be gentle. Thankfully, Felix is very tolerant <laughs> of Grayson because Grayson's not the nicest. It's been raining all day yesterday and it's supposed to rain all day today, which is good. Like, we need it. Our grass is like so dead because it's been such a dry summer, but it just stinks when it rains because it means we can't go outside and play. But we're planning on hitting up library time this morning anyway. Uh, story time at the library. I don't know why I always call it library time. Story time at the library, which will be fun. Hopefully I can keep Grayson from going outside. He wants to go out right now. We have to go get dressed. We have to go get our clothes on. He is back in the football. And this time he's got all his toys in there. He keeps pointing at certain toys. And I bring him to him. Yep, just like that. What do you want? This? Oh. Oh, probably wants this ball. This. He takes it and he puts it in there with him. You gonna put it in? It's been storming like crazy today, so we've just been sitting inside, which is driving Grayson crazy because he loves being outside, but we went to story time, went to the grocery store. We've been keeping busy and it's almost bath time. So we've been keeping busy, but he's sad he can't go outside, but tomorrow's supposed to be very sunny. So we are excited to go outside for that. What are you doing? You want to eat it? I don't think it tastes very good. <laughs> 